Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for checking out my videos, guys, and you know, being a subscriber. I really appreciate that. For those who have not yet subscribed, please do so. It only takes a smidget midget of your time, guys, and it will really help me out gratefully. Okay, guys, look, let's get started with this video. For today's video, I will be making stuffed chicken breast, okay? There's a lot of different ways you can make this meal, a lot of different ways. Okay, now look, I'm not crazy about cream cheese. Now, like, I'll eat a piece of cream, a cream cheesecake, but as far as, you know, the amount, because the, a lot of the recipes that I saw, you know, this requires so much cream cheese. So if you're like me and don't particularly care for all the cream cheese, this is what I decided to do. Look, I'm going to put my spinach in it, and I'm also going to cut up a little sausage, some smoked turkey sausage in it as well. And I'm going to use some sour cream, some mozzarella cheese, a little evaporated milk. This is the sauce. That you're gonna make you know like i said everybody else use cream cheese i don't want cream cheese in my chicken <laughs> that's just me i don't want that and these are all of my other seasonings that i'm going to use to season my chicken with okay guys i'm gonna make like a rub i'm just gonna put them all in the in the same bowl and make a rub okay these are my two chicken breasts that i'm going to use so now look now that you have all of my ingredients let's get started with this video guys and thanks for stopping by and joining me today okay guys now look what I first want to do with my chicken breasts, I want to dry them off, okay? Because I'm gonna add oil on them and I want them to be, I don't want, well, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see. I just want my chicken to be as dry as possible because I'm going to put oil on it, okay? And I'm gonna put my uh, my rub, my, uh, my season rub on it, okay? And according to the size of your chicken, that is how you want to accommodate the seasonings okay so you have to be the judge of this this is just two regular chicken breasts that and actually these were frozen chicken breasts but i'm going to clean them up and i'm going to split them i'm going to uh split them you know so i can and open them up enough to put in my um my mixture my uh my spinach mix okay but you want to make sure that you dry them off first you want to make sure they are completely dry Okay. And don't take much to do, and like I, I want to clean it up. I want to get some of the some of the fat off because I am going to fry them first. Okay, I'm going to fry it, fry it up a little because I want the, I want it to be brown. I want the nice little golden color on them. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. You know how, which I'm sure you do, when you guys are cooking, you have an image as to how you want something to look and how it's going to turn out. And that's I'm um, the same way. So I like for it to have, especially because I was just gonna put everything together and then pop it in the oven. Then I was like, no, I want it to be a little, a little crisp on the outside, you know. So I'm just gonna take my time here and, like I say, clean it up a little bit. And when you get ready to cut it, you only want to cut it, cut it with the depth into your chicken about three fourths, you know, just big enough for you to put your stuffing in. Okay. And so that's what I plan to do. Okay, guys. Okay, so let me finish cleaning this chicken. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you before I cut it up. Okay, just let me finish getting some of the fat off and just making it look a little prettier than what it looks. And then I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Now we are back. And now this is what I just want to, I wanted to raise you up a little higher so that you would be able to see me cut into my chicken, okay? So you just want to kind of make sure that the chicken is flat and find your position the best way you know the best size i feel like cutting this off and just make it a little smaller but i'm gonna let that stay on okay guys so you just want to cut it make sure you cut it evenly well not evenly but i mean you know the same the same depth on the bottom okay now see i didn't cut all the way through about three four depths down and i think this should be big enough okay because we're also going to use toothpicks to hold it in. We don't want all, all of our stuff to gush out, okay? Same concept with the next one. Just want to start cutting it. Okay, here we go. I can actually cut this one down a little bit further because I want to make sure I get enough stuffing inside of there. Yes, yeah, have the great part. Okay, and here's the second one. 
Okay, guys, so now that we, now that we have these cut, cut nicely, and like I said, it all depends on the, the, the size of your chicken breast. It all depends on the size of your, of your chicken breast as to how far you want to go down and how much stuffing you want to put in it. That's your choice. Okay, guys, so we're going to set these aside so that I can get my, my mix together. Okay? Okay, guys, now it's time for the next step, which I'm going to take my, uh, my spinach first because I want to chop this up, okay? And now everybody knows that, that spinach, you know, it appears big, but once it cooks down, it really shrinks. A lot of shrinkage in it. And that's why you have to make sure that you have a lot going on with it. So I'm just rinsing this off. This also kind of makes it a little softer, you know? So we're gonna rinse this off. Rinse off as much as we can, y'all, okay? Now look, it has a lot of stems on it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up. Just gonna cut everything up because I like to eat all of it. I when I eat them when I'm in my uh, uh, eat it in a salad. I don't take my stems off. I just eat all of it. So I'm just gonna chop these up. You know, nicely chopped, nothing fancy. You know, just you just want to kind of where you're kind of where you can actually manage them once you uh, are ready to put them inside of your chicken, okay? Come on, let's cut you up. Too. Okay, once you get them, once you get your spinach chopped up, the next what you want to do, I have a bowl over here. You want to put them back into your bowl. There. Put them in your bowl, like that. Next, I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to move my bowl over here so that you guys can see. Okay, we're going to kind of switch places here. Next, I'm going to take my sour cream. Now, you only need about two tablespoons, about two tablespoons of your vinegar. I mean, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of your sour cream if you're not using cream cheese. With, with cream cheese, you would, you, you would use the same amount, about two or three two or three tablespoons of your cream cheese, but I'm gonna use sour cream instead of mice, in mice instead of the uh, cream cheese, okay? That's one, and that's two. Get off, okay, bam. Now we have that together. Now next, we're going to use, not a lot, you can use half and half, or you can use regular milk, or evaporated milk. I'm using evaporated milk. This is what I normally use in my coffee when I don't have, you know, the regular dairy, a hazelnut creamer or whatever. I normally use this. And this is a little thicker than regular milk is. And so this is why I chose to use this kind, which I'm also going to put about two tablespoons in here as well. About one and about two. Okay. You don't want to overdo it. You just want to put just enough in there to be able to uh to mix everything up okay so let me grab a fork oh goodness where are my oh dishwasher can't believe i can't keep forks y'all my, my, my spoons have legs my spoons have legs arms they leave I, I cannot keep up with spoons i don't understand i really don't okay guys now look if you have some parsley which I'm going to put in some, uh, I don't have any fresh parsley, so, but I have parsley flakes. So I'm gonna put in my parsley flakes. Let me see, parsley, parsley, where are you? You are right here. I'm gonna put in some parsley flakes in here. You know, just about maybe a table, a teaspoon. Maybe like a teaspoon of your parsley flakes, okay? We gonna mix this up. Okay, then we're gonna get our cheese mozzarella cheese or you can get the mozzarella cheese swiss cheese or whatever but seeing that you're making a dip you kind of want all of the colors to kind of stay the same okay so we're just going to sprinkle in us a couple tablespoons of cheese maybe two to three okay it all depends on how much you like your cheese okay put that in there like that let me gonna continue to mix this up okay Continue to mix it up. Okay, 
this is what it looks like, okay? Now listen, I always say it's your dish. You can do what you want to do with your dish, okay? But because I don't like, like I said before, cream cheese like that, this is what you can do. You can substitute. You can substitute, guys, okay? And this is what I am doing for mine, okay? Bam, now I have this out the way. Next, we're going to get our rub together. So don't you go to roll, cause you know, you don't want a whole lot. What I'm going to do is put a tablespoon of each because I'm going to season the inside and the outside of my bird, okay? So this is smoked paprika. I didn't know how much smoked paprika can change the flavor of your, um, or whatever it is that you're eating. I'm telling you, it, it really it really enhances, especially your meat. Okay. I'm gonna scrape this out a little bit here. Okay. That's almost, almost a tablespoon. Okay. Next, we're gonna do our onion powder. Oh, this will fit, okay. I'm gonna do onion powder, bam. All the measurements can be the same, okay? You can do the same unless it's something that you really, well, you know what, I, I take that back. Except for my, my, my sodden tape, I'll probably do less of that. But as far as the powders and everything, I'm doing a full tablespoon of each one of those. My onion powder, my um, garlic powder, I'm gonna put a little obey in here. I, feel, I think I'm only gonna use about a tablespoon. I'm sorry, teaspoon? Teaspoon of obey because it is a little salty. Okay, guys, we only put a teaspoon of this in here. Uh -oh. That's our teaspoon. So, see, it's easier to it's easier to add than it is to take away when it comes to your seasoning. So the less that you put in is better. You know, and if it's not enough, you can always add, but you can't take it away. Once it's salty, it's salty. Okay, guys, I'm gonna use some of my lorries. I'm gonna also use a teaspoon of lorries. Okay, one teaspoon of Lari's, bam. Okay, now that I have all of my seasoning that I am going to use to put on my chicken in my bowl here, I'm just going to stir it up. Spoon here, we're gonna stir all of this up. You may have to break up some of your smoked paprika. Okay guys, I did have a little more uh, seasonings than I wanted. I used tablespoons, teaspoons would be better. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna wipe off, well, wipe off. <laughs> we're gonna wipe off our board here because now we're gonna get our bird, baby. We're gonna get our bird that we cut up earlier. And then, and then we are going to oil this baby down, okay? I have some olive oil. Now you measure according to the size of your chicken, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little smidget on top of both of them. And then I'm just going to rub with my hands, okay? Inside and out all over, okay? Then I'm gonna kind of butterfly it open once I'm done because I wanna season it well. I wanna make sure I season the inside too because listen, the chicken breasts that I have are kind of thick. See the the the, uh, the length in it, the width? It's still thick. So you wanna make sure that you have, have it seasoned inside and out, okay? Because I didn't put, up, put any season onto my, um, on my, uh, my spinach mix that I'm gonna put in, I didn't put any season on that. That's because I'm seasoning the inside and the outside of my chicken, y'all. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to butterfly this one a little bit. The, uh, mm, yeah, because I wanna, okay, you know, we're gonna start with it the other way. Cause I wanna preserve some of my, uh, some of this, the seasonings on the outside of the bird, okay? So we're just gonna shake some on this side and then the inside of it too, okay? You know what, I put, I did have a lot of seasoning. I didn't have to put this much, but 
I wanted to make sure I got it all over, okay? Okay. Let's open that up and put some inside of there too. I'm gonna rub this on here. See, I got that cut deep. Make sure it's seasoned. Okay. Now we're gonna flip this over. You just wanna make sure you cover your whole chicken. So look, if you do it, if you, I think if you, if I had it done just a teaspoon of everything, that would have been enough. Okay. Kind of overdid it with that, with the seasoning mix, but it's okay. It's all right. I just want to make sure I had enough to season the whole bird all the way around. Okay. Love all of this all over like this. And this is our openings here. Openings there and open here. Wash my hands again. So you always keep your dish water, guys. It makes things so much easier. Or you could wear gloves, but mm. now if I'm if I'm fixing for family or for someone outside of myself and my son, then I'll use gloves. But these dishes are for us. So, okay, one moment. Hey guys, look, I, I thought I was taping and thought you guys was watching me and you guys were not. I just stuffed my chicken breast and I just put my toothpicks on them to hold them, okay? And I did add a little more seasoning on them because you know, messing around with the chicken, trying to get the toothpicks to go through, my hands kind of ta had taken off some of the seasoning. So of course I had extra. So I just put a little more on this. So next what we're going to do, we're going to get our uh, olive oil and we're gonna heat up. Now we have our, uh, we have our, our heat, it's on medium. Okay, well it's a little, little higher than medium because I want my pan to heat up. And then in the process, I'm going to just put a little of olive oil, maybe like a, tablespoonful or you know if you want to do a teaspoon that's fine too we're gonna let this heat up then we're gonna put our chicken breast in and we're gonna to try to get them browned on both sides and then we're going to bake them I already have my baking pan ready right here to bake them in okay guys so let me uh, let this heat up and I'll be right back Time for us to add our chicken breast in here. We're gonna set one right there. And we're going to set the other right next to it. Okay guys, so we only should have to have to uh, have to cook this. Not I, I have mine on medium now. Okay. So maybe four or five minutes, just enough to brown. I'll let you be that that's your choice. You know, but I want mine to look a certain color, a certain type of way. So I want to put that, um, just let it stay in here for maybe five minutes or so on each side. Okay? Or longer if needed. Because you're going to pop it in the oven because you want everything to cook in the middle. Okay, guys? So I'll be right back. in about three minutes. And this is what it's looking like on the side. Yeah, baby. So a couple more minutes. Then we're gonna flip it over and then we're going to pop it into our cooking pan. Now listen, I was thinking, since I did have a little left, why not just bake it? Bake it around the chicken, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's why, that way I don't have to worry about wasting anything. Okay hey guys, I'll be right back. Time to flip. Time to flip that baby over. Ooh, nice and brown, look at that. That's just how I wanted it to look. That's, and that also helps from the uh, smoked paprika as well. I know it can be a little difficult to make sure that you get it, um, you know, kind of brown all around because of the food chips. But it's okay. As long as you get the majority of, of what you're trying to get done, done the next time. Because you want to make sure that your goodness stays in the inside. Okay? So I have a couple more minutes on this side. Then we're going to pop this baby in the oven. I need to set my oven. It's at 350, but I need to set it for 400, okay? I'm going to put this on 400. For about 20, 30 minutes, okay, guys? Okay, guys, it's been about five minutes on that side as well. So I'm going to turn that off. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this over and place it into my baking pan. Okay, 
And like I said before, with the leftover spinach mix that I have, I'm just gonna put this in here like this around. I kinda wanna waste it. Okay guys, and we're going to cover this with some foil and let this bake. Cover it for at least 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Because I want to make sure that the chicken is done in the inside. As you can see, the outside is like halfway done. Okay guys, so let me get this finished and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to turn it around so you can see. So that you can see. Okay guys, we're going to take our toothpicks out. Lay them to the side. This one we put in the long way. Take, ah, okay. Still hot. Let's pull these other ones out. Okay, we gotta take this one off from the side. Alrighty. Okay, guys. See that stuffing in there? You see the the uh sausage on the end there? We're gonna give it a cut. We're gonna cut this baby open, y'all, and see. We're gonna cut a little bit of it, okay? Ooh, wee! Look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? Don't that look good? Yum, yum. Meat is still on the thick side, but look at that how you got the, the nice little sausage in there, too, to give it that little extra taste. Okay, guys, we're gonna cut it up a little bit. Cut us a little piece off. Smell good. Hopefully it's not over seasoned or whatnot. Let's give it a little try here. Mmm. Oh, this is good, y'all. This is really good. Y'all need to try this. When you get that little extra kick with the sausage of it, oh my gosh, this is really good. This is really good, hands down, guys. Let me let me let me serve this up the right way. I just want you guys to see the inside. You see how thick the meat is? Everything is tender because of the fact that it was baked. Okay, you got like it's not as crispy as I would have liked it to be on the outside, but that's the easy fix. You can just put it back in the oven, take the top off, and let it continue to cook some. Okay. Oh guys, give me a minute so I can serve this up properly. Okay, guys, and there you have it. That is how I make my stuffed chicken breast, guys, with spinach and turkey sausage. Guys, if you enjoyed yourself with me today, and if you like how I do what I do, when I do what I do, subscribe to my channel, guys. Don't just watch me. Subscribe to my channel. Share my channel with your family and friends, guys. And look, this was a really good recipe that, I mean, I kind of switched things around because I don't like cream cheese like that. So I just kind of, you know, made a little difference to let you know that if you don't like cream cheese like this in this type of meal, that you can substitute and use other things for it in the place. Okay, guys? Thanks for joining me today, guys. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my channel with your family and friends, guys. And until next time, bye. Thank you.